It's a memory I don't particularly ever want to go back to. It happened when I was in high school. I remember that I kept thinking, this was not how I wanted to lose my virginity. I never spoke about my sexual assault, not to anyone. Who would believe me? I figured I would be blamed, shamed, more than what I was already doing to myself. It's difficult to talk about because I still feel a lot of guilt. To this day, I have a hard time with people touching me. I had a steady boyfriend, and he was the popular boy in school. I felt lucky to be loved by him. I didn't feel ready for sex, but he would repeatedly ask me. Then, one night, at a friend's bonfire party, he followed me to the bathroom. For so many years after, I thought I shouldn't have been drinking. I should have locked the door. I should have fought back. I should have screamed for help if I truly didn't invite his advances. I was in my early 20s and was enjoying a night out on the town with my friends. We were at a club and met a few cute guys. We learned they were part of an out-of-town football team and here for the weekend. After the club closed, we all went back to their hotel. I don't remember much of the rape, only bits and pieces. I remember him forcing himself on me and I eventually blacked out. On my way home, all I could think of was, that was bad judgment on my part. I shouldn't have gone to that after party. I shouldn't have drank so much. When I was younger, I was part of a youth organization. One of the adult facilitators took a special interest in me. I was not only inspired by his story, but drawn to his charming character. At first, it wasn't romantic, but quickly turned into something more. He convinced me to keep it a secret. He didn't want to jeopardize what we had and told me it was something he treasured. On my 16th birthday, he joined some friends in organizing a surprise party for me. Later that night, we snuck off to a hotel. I remember feeling nervous about what was happening and I started to question if I should be there. After we had sex, he was ready to leave and I was sworn to secrecy. I learned I was not the only girl he had carried on a relationship with. When this came to light, his contract was terminated. Years later, I began to inform myself on sexual assault survivors' rights. It wasn't my fault. I didn't deserve to be assaulted. You can't give consent when you are under the influence. I have learned how courageous I am and that I get to write my own story. I have that control. As an adult and a parent, it has helped me understand how easily a young man or woman can be groomed and the importance of educating our youth. I am a survivor. I am a survivor. I am a survivor.